Today we will be testing Russian Shashka to destruction. Cossack cavalry saber is uh, this particular one is made from car spring and it's done the right way. First the, uh, the tension is released then it's forged then it's tempered again. Different parts are tempered differently then the handle is attached. It's a fascinating blade you will see how well it performs in the test but remember the test is to destruction. Uh, we often get asked uh, about superiority of Russian martial arts over other styles, mainly Oriental styles or Japanese styles. Well, Chashka also gets the uh, same questions thrown at it. Uh, is Damascus steel better? Is uh, Japanese katana better? It must be. They fold the steel 5,000 times. I don't know what the number is. What would be interesting to see is the supporters of uh, Japanese technology show us a video of the test to destruction of the katana blade where they put it through the same paces that Cossack blade is being put through. The blade will, uh, will be tested on its uh, flexibility and how well it stays true. Uh, it'll be tested on how well it keeps the edge and uh, what items it can cut. Some of them will be just reeds, some of them will be a bunch of reeds, some will be uh, trees that are five centimeters thick, there'll be a pig's head in there, there'll be metal sheet, uh, there'll be a pike uh, like a short spear that the Cossacks also used and the spear's handle is made from wood, dried uh, oak and those of you who, that ever worked with oak will understand how hard it is to cut it but without further ado let's move on to the test it's performed by a Russian master who manufactures the swords his name is Anze I will put a link in the description of the video to, uh, and you can see his work and his uh, swords and his channel uh, I hope you enjoy it Shashta to destruction. First test, relatively simple. A single reed weighed down by a hat. Just a single reed without anything pushing it down. Here we're cutting multiple reeds. In fact, 20 of them. Have a look at how smooth the cut is. Moving on to the pig's head. Remember, Shashka is a slicing weapon. It doesn't need to decapitate. It just needs to disable your opponent. The blade is still in good shape. The cut is not just to the bone, but the bone is damaged quite severely. And the blade can still slice up the water bottle. So the edge is kept really well. Let's see how flexible the blade remains and will it stay true after such extreme bending. Yeah, it seems to be quite straight. Now that's not enough. Let's see how we can mess with it even more. Right. Three and a half centimeters of wood. And the blade is still true. Okay, let's mess with it now. Extreme bending. Stick it under your chest of drawers, bend it, and then bend it a bit more. It actually pains me to look at this. But the blade is still fine. A bit more. Here you go, see? Still straight. This is a short spear with a handle made of dried oak. Remarkably hard material even if you have a power tool. Cut one. Cut two. Ah, let's keep going. Can it actually go through it? Yes, it can. That's not enough. We can do worse than that. There is a little bit of bend in the uh, sharp end of the blade, but the... Uh, the spine is still good. We're going to hit the metal now. Will it break the blade? Remember, this is test to destruction. What will it take to ruin this beautiful shashka? There are etches in the blade and 
my goodness, on the spearhead. All right. Not enough. Metal sheet, two and a half mil thick. I don't know why he does it, but I guess the point needed to be proved. Let's do it. <laughs> nope, that's still good. <laughs> that's still good. The cut goes in a couple of centimeters. It's quite hard to pull the blade out, you will notice. What will it take to ruin this blade? Do not try this at home, boys and girls. All right. We gotta go further than that. We gotta break it somehow. Here, the master actually starts complaining that he's getting tired and the blade is still not breaking. Remember, this is after cutting the metal and the oak and the trees and it's winter so the blade is a bit more fragile no it's not gonna go is it he says those of you that support the japanese blades come over and give me a hand i'm getting tired nope the blade is still <laughs> okay we're gonna have to break it metal bars immovable object Really thick, solid metal. Finally, finally we managed to break it. And here is the blade. The cuts, a <laughs> couple of centimeters deep. And the blade is less than one millimeter thick at the business edge. And three mil at the spine and there you have it shashka tested to destruction classes in london where we learn amongst other things how to work with the swords too hope to see you in class sistemalondon.com thank you